Yep. I know what you're thinking. This guy's got mass. He's got some speed. He must have some motion energy. Let's take a look at, look at that and calculate it. So you should all have a worksheet entitled Kinetic Energy Problem Set. And underneath the title, there are some handy little formulas. Believe it or not, these formulas are actually the same formula. They're just written a little bit differently. So the main formula that we look at is Ke equals 1 half mv squared. Now, what does that mean? Hmm. Let's, let's take a look. First of all, we've got kinetic energy. We're trying to calculate that, so we're going to call it Ke. Then we have mass. Every object, well, pretty much every object has a mass. We have uh, that represented by m. And then our dude has a speed. So we're going to call that v. Now, if you want to think about why is it v, it, it has something to do with velocity. Velocity has a little bit of a difference, but um, we're just going to call it v for right now. Okay? All right, so take a look at, we actually have our runner here. So uh, somebody with, with a ponytail. And we have a problem. So we're going to read the problem. That is always helpful in finding the answer. Uh, so the question is, what, what is the kinetic energy of a jogger with a mass of 65 kilograms traveling at a speed of 2.5 meters per second? Now we're given some information there and we want to make sure that we annotate this so that we know what information we're given. We're given um, that we're we're looking for kinetic energy. We're also dealing with some mass here and we're dealing with speed. So make sure that you you underline those things in your in your notes in your own worksheet. Then take a look at um, what we know. We know two numbers. One 65 kilograms. Kilogram, it's a mass. So we're circling that. We also know that there is a speed of 2.5 meters per second. So that's our speed and we're circling that as well. So what are the things we know and what are the things that we don't know? Let's take a look. So m, what does m equal? Well, it equals 65 kilograms. So I'm going to go ahead and write down m equals 65 kilograms. And then we also are looking for a speed. Our speed is v, and we're looking for that number. And we look over here, and we've got 2.5 meters per second. Great. So we write down 2.5 meters per second. And, um, and then we want to take a look at showing, um, showing our work. So our formula is Ke, kinetic energy, is equal to 1 half mv squared. So that's 1 half times the mass times the velocity squared. Now we're going to take that and plug it in and find that 1 half gets multiplied by 65 kilograms and multiplied by 2.5 meters per second. Remember to make sure you square the seconds, or the 2.5 meters per second, because uh, that's what our formula tells us to do. We plug that into a calculator and we get an answer of 203.1 kilogram meters per second squared. Now, kilogram meters per second squared, that's actually per second Kilogram meter squared per second squared is kind of an odd thing. We end up with, um, uh, we end up calling that something else. So we're just going to say kilogram meter squared per second squared is equal to joules. So our final answer is 203.1 joules. So we're going to write that on the line here, 203.1, and we have then joules. Any questions?